Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning back in. I know it's been a while since I put anything up, but I'm here to share with you our day two journey in Kentucky. Once again, like and subscribe because we went on another trip, kind of impromptu out to Denver, Las Vegas, and Dallas. I'll be uploading that in a few, I'm not even gonna put a time limit on that, but it'll be up. Um, I just got a lot to look through, a lot of pictures to edit, but stay tuned and watch this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I can't even stretch. Hey everybody, before I proceed with this video, I just want to stop and uh, bring some awareness to Lost River Cave in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, they are a nonprofit, so that means they rely on donations and for everybody to go and visit. Um, they give a great tour and they have some great tour guides. Now, since they're nonprofit, like I said, they rely on us to visit. If you ever make your way up I-65, make sure you stop in Bowling Green, Kentucky to go and visit them and make donations and treat them nicely. There's some great people. They have some great shows out there. It's worth the money. It's not expensive, but it's definitely worth the stop and the time. Um, it's very unique. <laughs> you don't get to see a cave in the middle of a city very unique but like i said if you have the time stop and visit please do awesome so this creates an imaginary line so everyone on this side of the room you guys are going to be group number one Everybody on this side of the room, you guys are going to be group A. Everybody's a winner here at Lost River Cave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you on the 11th? No, I'm not, but you are, or, you know, whatever. Lost River Cave, we're an independent cave system. We're only about seven miles. Humans can't even go the entire seven miles, but uh, we're the only one in the Kentucky with the river that has a, can have a boat through it. And Bowling Green is also the largest city in the United States that sits entirely on a potential cave. So good job for coming to Bowling Green. <laughs> kind of weird. Anybody find it weird that the cave was right on the busy road? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> People ironically get lost coming to Lost River all the time. It's true. Because it's in the middle of the city. You know, other caves you gotta drive in the middle of nowhere. You lose cell reception. Up here, you can go to Sonic right next door. Uh, if we forget our lunch, we can just go get something. So, pretty cool. <laughs> so, just because, you know, due to the world right now, we're kind of socially distant. <laughs> that water is being held by something. But a lot of these Civil War soldier diaries that we found here in Bowling Green, a local historian has kind of matched them to this area. And a lot of the diaries talk about a bottomless man-eating blue hole that swallowed horses, mules, parts <laughs> of wagons, supplies, even my buddy John. My buddy John went trying to find the bottom. Never saw my buddy again. Stuff like that. <laughs> So it had a lot of mystery behind it. It wasn't until right after the Civil War, an engineer wanted to kind of put that to an end because there has to be a bottom. So he wanted to measure it. So he took a rock and some rope, tied it together, threw it in there, held onto the rope. Whenever it's slack, 
he figured he met the bottom, pulled it up, and then measured. Okay, now it's opening on our side of the Mississippi River. And it's all done with carbonic acid that's in the rainfall. Discovery store. Nashville Road. They're already going to throw up anywhere today. <laughs> it's right there. They used to be the Dixie Highway. This has never been a mystery. It's been here forever. People have known about it forever. That's why the Perkins brothers had such a good dig. Because Dixie Highway. People are going from north to south, right there. They saw the signs. Oh, yeah. I'll stop and take a break. <laughs> take a little cold, have a nice cold one and a cold place. If you're actually wondering what you're looking at, this was actually a nightclub in the cave from back in the early 1900s. Very interesting. And you guys are more than welcome to check out the nightclub whenever we get back out of the cave. The bar is not open, <laughs> but it's cool to see. It's made in 1935. So, my, my adults, that's first. You will grab one of Tipping the guy, it is okay. Ooh, we're in the cave. Watch your nuggets. Gotta duck low for this one. Have you moved the butter on the floor? Well, it's dark in here. It is dark. It's called the wishing rock because if you don't duck, you're gonna wish you did. <laughs> so funny. That's so serious. So, uh, I've done it before. Don't do it. It's not fun. Again, no free haircuts. It won't be a cute one. It'll be a bald spot. So here we go. It's only for about 10 seconds of our tour. Is anyone learning that you are claustrophobic? <laughs> I think I'm Sometimes fine. people are like, oh gosh, I didn't think I was. I am. But I promise it's, it's almost over. It does get a little bit lower, and then it pops right up. Not for everybody, so sorry people at the back don't pop up yet. This and you guys are good. So the cool thing about this cave is if you look on the right, um, there's a steep cliff where the staircases are going up. Um, those go up to the main road. That's how they used to enter and exit this nightclub. Other than the chandelier that's just randomly in a cave, it was a very interesting place. All right, y'all, let me tell you guys a really quick about Pence's Hot Chicken. They were founded 75 years ago in 1945 in Nashville, Tennessee, and they have some of the best hot chicken in Nashville. They're one of the originals. If you guys stop in Nashville, please make a stop to Prince's. They're so good.